Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping in some battles on my Chief Pat 2 account, continuing our Let's Play series where we are currently undefeated, yet we're starting to go against some level 7s and level 8s. Now, I'm only halfway through level 5. Most of my commons are level 5, rares are level 3, and epics are level 1. I still do have that prince level 2, but let's go ahead and see if we can take out Spada, who is a level 7, and uh, see what we can do. Now, now, he is going to drop a bunch of troops on that right hand side which means he's low on elixir i think i can defend this left hand tower with this bomb tower which is crazy op at the smaller levels if you guys haven't used the bomb tower and you're in lower arenas personally i think it's the best defense in lower arenas so i definitely suggest that you guys check it out uh, but as you can see i was able to hold that push pretty well and seeing as my troops did hit the tower on the right hand side we actually have a pretty sizable advantage going into the rest of the battle again i've been playing defenses a lot on this account you guys might have noticed that i opened this battle with a bomb tower normally i don't start battles with a bomb tower on my main account uh, when i go against someone who's my same level but whenever i'm playing on an account where i'm facing someone a higher level than me it's always a good idea to start defense first you don't want to be too aggressive with your attacks you don't want to be throwing stuff all over the place uh, and trying to rush a lane because obviously if you're facing someone a higher level than you they're going to have better level cards and if you find Right on their side of the map you're going to be toast so that's why i dropped that bomb tower and uh, tried to play defense first it worked out pretty well looks like we're actually getting some good damage on his tower with that one goblin right there and only a witch with about five percent hp remains and i actually decided to drop a musketeer now probably not the smartest decision the witch actually would have died without any uh, help from my musketeer and because of that looks like my musketeer is actually going to get hurt pretty badly by that wizard i could have just dropped a valkyrie or aka a valkyrie on top of that wizard as soon as it crossed paths and taking a look at my fireball it doesn't have enough damage to take out the tower by itself so i need to make sure that i have two fireballs to take care of that tower on the right hand side but first definitely need to make sure to take care of this push on the left and i'm actually going to get a pretty crazy value fireball right there with uh, the archers as well as the spear goblins for a combined five elixir getting taken out by that four elixir fireball Okay, so now that he's in double elixir, he's definitely going to be harder to crack on the right-hand side of his base. He's got plenty of troops down over there that is able to stop both my Valkyrie and my Prince. Uh, so now I'm going to play some defense. He does have a Goblin Barrel, which I haven't seen until now. He held it until 30 seconds left in the battle. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and play another Valkyrie on the right-hand side. We can play that, followed up by our Prince. Make a rush down the lane. Let's go ahead and a drop a bomb tower to play some defense. He's actually going to lure me with the skeletons as well as the archers on the very top. And that's actually going to bring most of my troops all the way to the very center. But I will fireball that tower to bring it down to 16 HP. So one more fireball wins us the game. Let's go ahead and play some defense. Our baby dragon actually ended up taking care of those goblins. And uh, he played the the goblin barrel on the left hand side if he had played it in the very center he might have actually won the game right there so at this point gonna go ahead and just start dropping some of my cards as soon as the fireball is available i'm gonna throw that on the right hand side and that's gonna wrap up a one crown to zero victory against spada moving our record to i think 50 and 0 on this account we got 29 trophies for this battle i know someone made a thread on the forums uh, who like calculated my trophy count i'm averaging something like 31 trophies a battle right now which is pretty nuts so let's go ahead and hop into our next battle which is against a level eight the very first level eight i've seen on this account it's definitely appropriate to start off with that crying face because this is going to be absolutely ridiculous he did drop a level one witch which is sort of strange i thought his epics would be level three but maybe he just unlocked it and wanted to try it out uh, but at this point gonna have to play really conservatively and uh, i'm gonna start off with that musketeer in the back he's gonna drop the minion horde though which is actually the first minion horde i've seen since i started on this account so definitely gonna be a little bit tough i'm gonna take just a little bit of damage on this tower on the left he will have to deal with my musketeer on the left hand side but honestly at this point i'm sort of just shooting for a tie on this account i'm gonna take care of that tesla with the fireball should be able to knock that out right there but I don't think there's much of a chance that I can win this battle unless this guy screws up really badly, which I don't really see happening. Three level difference, I think is almost unplayable. So if you guys ever lose to someone three levels above you, definitely no reason uh, to freak out. It's just gonna happen. But let's go ahead and again play some defense with that bomb tower. He's going to play a giant, which is actually really smart, seeing as my knight is just going to run into it and uh, pretty much do nothing for that three elixir that I spent on him. 
Okay, so he's building up a big push down that left-hand lane. I'm going to do the same thing I did inside that last battle and drop my Valkyrie and Prince on the right-hand side. Drop another Cry Face because he has a level 4 wizard coming down the lane. I am actually going to drop, or I was thinking about dropping a Fireball on that other side, uh, but seeing as he actually is going to leave that tower for me to take out, we're not really going to take that much damage or actually nope the wizard is at like one hp we're gonna lose the tower on the left hand side that's a little bit unfortunate i thought we might be able to protect it but still we almost had the lead for just a second uh, but unfortunately he's gonna get a big push off and we're gonna have to play some more defense now notice what i did i didn't freak out on the very bottom i didn't drop a crazy amount of troops to try to protect that tower if i tried to protect that tower with a bunch of elixir i might have saved like 800 hp on my crown tower but that mini pekka was running down the right hand side and could have demolished me a lot of times I see people um, who will actually drop a ton of stuff just to save like 500 HP on their crown tower. It's definitely worth it to sometime uh, not really protect your crown tower and take just a little bit of damage. But anyways, I was getting distracted while I was playing. I didn't pay attention and I went to max elixir a couple of times. I dropped my baby dragon on the wrong side, my musketeer on the wrong side again. Just like the last episode, I think I was checking Twitter or something stupid. It's really not a smart idea to check Twitter while you're inside of a battle. But still, I'm going to try to play some defense. I've got the Valkyrie going crazy on that mini P.E.K.K.A. I've got the baby dragon helping out against that giant. The giant does do a crazy amount of damage because they buffed him inside of the last patch. Uh, so I am going to build a bomb tower right there to help out just a bit. And now with my knight taking on that wizard, we're really just going for a tie within this, this last minute. It's double elixir, no reason to get any crazy. I haven't even touched uh, or barely even touched both of his other towers. So just going to go ahead and sit back, wait for him to go on a push, and uh, just try to take him out slowly but surely. And as long as we fight within our towers and we outplay him, we should have a pretty good chance of it knocking him out. Okay, so looks like our Valkyrie didn't do too well against both of those troops, the mini P.E.K.K.A. as well as the witch. The knight's going to try to help out against that wizard he's actually going to do an amazing job right there minion horde should be taken out or at least i thought it would be i'll actually drop a musketeer instead of another fireball and another valkyrie will spin and destroy that entire push that he had and that other witch is going to be taken out as well now because he dropped a bunch of stuff i guess we could have gone for a push down the left hand lane but this one's pretty much over the tesla will destroy absolutely anything that i drop so i'm just going to throw a fireball at his king tower i will take a tie against a level eight any day of the week and that preserves our streak most importantly uh to where we are still undefeated on this account and we haven't lost any battles so one crown to one crown against the magic again against the level eight i will definitely take that and heading back to the main screen let's go ahead and hop back into one more battle at 1577 trophies and if we win we should be able to get up to 1600 undefeated on this account Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out. We're playing a level six. Wow, I haven't seen a level six probably within the last 20 to 25 battles. I've been having a lot of ties. That's why you haven't seen all of them. Uh, but this guy must be pretty good if he is up here at level six. So let's go ahead and see if we can play against him. He's going to start off with an Inferno Tower. That's actually the first Inferno Tower I remember seeing on this account. Maybe I played one before this, but really not too many. Uh, so let's go and play a Musketeer in the back. See what he does next. And uh, it looks like after our Musketeer runs down the lane, guess what we run into, guys? We run into an Expo user. I haven't seen an Expo since the Expo nerf came out. I don't know about you guys, but this guy's going to be using the Expo. I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to start hitting them with, with some wows, which, of course, is completely valid whenever you play an Expo or a Mortar user. Looks like he's going to be able to take out my Baby Dragon. I'm going to fireball those minions. And again, we're going to reset pretty even right here, but still... We're going to be playing against this Expo guy for the rest of this battle. And if I lose my very first match ever to an Expo, I think I might cry and delete the game. So let's play a little bit of defense. If this guy is up here at level six, um, maybe he can make some mistakes. Normally, Expo players and Mortar players, if you can over flood one side of the map, they don't know what to do. They start freaking out. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I'm going to keep my bomb tower right here. Of course, the bomb tower is the tankiest defense inside of the entire game. So it's actually pretty effective against Expos. So we're going to slowly start making our way down the left-hand side. Our Musketeer should be able to shoot over the top to that Inferno Tower. 
tower and watch what I do with my goblins. I know the musketeer would die pretty quickly to that inferno tower, but my goblins should be able to soak up the damage. And then now with this knight tanking that uh, expo, we're going to be able to start doing some pretty good work against it. We can drop our Valkyrie to help out against these barbarians. And at this point, let's start going on an offensive assault against this guy and go down the left hand side of the lane. All right. So we're doing awesome damage against that tower. The prince got a full charge off the fireball ended up taking out almost all of those minions and uh, so far so good with only 300 hp left on that tower and again that's probably like our 10th wow of the match we're probably gonna hit our taunt limit sometime soon he's gonna play an elixir or a, a tombstone in front of that tower because he's getting scared that i'm gonna take it out honestly i can drop two fireballs on it to take it out and he's gonna play a rocket onto my bomb tower so we can start making another push down this left hand side he's gonna have to defend with that inferno tower it actually will lock on to my knight before i can drop any of my goblins again he's gonna drop some barbarians on a fence can go ahead and use our valkyrie to spin in a circle and take those out meanwhile my musketeer is shooting over the top at that inferno tower and look at this humongous push we have on the left hand side He's probably not going to be able to do anything about this. Valkyrie's taking out that tombstone. Baby dragon and two musketeers down the left-hand lane. Bomb tower is going to try to help out as well. Knight plus goblins on the right-hand side just to put on some pressure. Fireball will take out that tower, giving us the win against another Expo user. Our first since the new update has come out with 34 trophies as well as a silver chest. So heading back, you can see we are at 1,611 trophies on our second account only at 250 XP out of 400. Uh, again, the deck that I'm using, I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Here's a look at my battle log. You can see I'm starting to get a lot of ties. And then as I go deeper, you can see Teletubbies, who I played inside of the last episode. These are some older replays. Still undefeated with this deck. If you guys wanna try it out, I highly recommend that you do. Even if you don't wanna play this deck, if you guys are below, um, if you're in Arena 5 or below, I would totally recommend having a bomb tower inside of your deck because it's so strong. And right now we are 53 and O on this account at 1611 trophies. I'm going to be playing a lot more on this account as soon as I lose, but I want to show you guys every single uh, replay and I want to be recording every single raid that I do on this account until I lose. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure some level eight is going to dominate me soon. Or if a mortar or an expo guy takes me out, I'm again going to be super upset, but still that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.